Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we are going to install a free plugin to create a product gallery slider in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you the example of the product gallery slider. This is the single product image and here you will see the product gallery images. You can show multiple images in the product gallery. Just like this, you can customize this. You can have different animations for the slide. You can also change the location of these thumbnails. Right now it is at the bottom in the horizontal. You can also change it to vertical in the left hand side or in the right hand side of the product image. I do have the pro version of this plugin. So I'm going to install the pro version also and I'll show you what is the difference between the pro version and the free version. If you want to add images as well as videos in the product gallery, you can do this using this plugin. Here is an example of video that I have added in the gallery. If I click on it, it will play the YouTube video. If I go ahead, here is another video. So you can add images and videos in the product gallery slider. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install a free product gallery slider plugin for WooCommerce. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and then click on add new. First, we will start with the free plugin and I do have the pro version of this plugin. So I'll show you how the pro version works. Here, search for product gallery slider for WooCommerce. And this is the plugin that we are going to install product gallery slider for WooCommerce and it is developed by Codexer. Click on install now. and click on activate. So this is the free version of the plugin. All right, so the plugin has been installed and you will see the option here, Codexer. From here, you can make changes to the settings. So let me show you the dashboard of the Codexer first. All right, so this is the dashboard. And here you can see different settings for the gallery slider. How do you want the animation slide or fade? Here you will see the animation slider lazy load disable on demand progressive so this option is available for pro version only and these are the other options slider image caption mouse dragging slider autoplay so if you want the slider to play automatically you can enable this one speed is also there light box on it is by default on zoom options thumbnail options where do you want to show the thumbnails this option is available for pro version let me show you the product first so that you will get the idea how does this work so i'm opening the all products let me try this one i'm going to edit this product because i do not have any gallery images for this one so first i'm going to add the gallery images this is the shirt and here this is the product image and here you will see the option product gallery. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to add some product gallery images for this product. So let me select some images. I'm going to choose some images. Okay, so I'm going to add five images here as a product gallery and I'm going to click on add to gallery these five images will be shown as a gallery let's update it now let's view the product here you will see the product image and these are the gallery images so you can see that it is sliding automatically because we have autoplay enabled if i move the cursor on it it will stop so here you will see arrows these are the dots if i go here it will show the image If I click on it, it will open in the light box. 
and from here I can slide the images now let's see the settings let's go to the general options use the slide right now it is set to fade so if you slide it you will see the fade effect here now we are going to change it to slide what other options do we have here auto play is there already dots i do not want to show the dots these are the dots if you do not want to show you can disable it if you do not want to show arrows you can disable that also but i'm not going to disable it these are the this is the arrow color this is the color black so leave it as it is let's go to light box options these are the options for the pro version background image if i click on it you will see the background color if i change it to blue let's try this one blue zoom options thumbnail options thumbnails to show four so here you can see four images if you want to reduce you can reduce the number or you can increase let's try it with five this is for the desktop for the tablet you can show four for the smartphone thumbnails four and thumbnails scroll by one so these are the basic settings all right leave it as it is and click on save now let me refresh it now here you will see five thumbnail options because we have changed it to five and you can also see the slide effect If I click on it, you will see the color change, the background or the overlay color is now blue. So this is how you can make changes. Now I do have the pro version of this plugin. So I'm going to install the pro version of this plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Let me show you the pro version. This is the pro version product gallery slider for WooCommerce. And it is also developed by Codexer. It is available on Core Canon. I'll give you the link in the description box. The regular price is 59. And here you can see that there is an offer for this plugin. It is available at $39. So if you really want to use some additional or advanced feature, you can use this plugin. So let me go back and upload the plugin. This plugin was known as Twist earlier. Click on install now. So I'm now installing the pro version of this plugin. So I already have a free version. So I'm going to delete the free version. And after that, I'm going to activate the pro version. All right, now let's go to the settings. These are the same settings. Lazy load is available now for the pro version. So I'm going to disable it. If you want to enable it, you can enable it. Let's go to light box option and you will see the light box option here. Now let's go to thumbnail options here. And here you will see the thumbnail position right now. It is at the bottom here. It is at the bottom. I'm going to change it to left side. Save the settings. Let's refresh it now. Now here you will see the thumbnails are in the left hand side and they are vertical. If I change it to the right side, save it. Now here you will see the thumbnails in the right hand side. All right, so I'm going to keep it on bottom. Now let me show you how you can add a video to the gallery. So I'm going to the product again and here i am going to add new gallery image which will be linked to the youtube video i'm going to use another image here use this one okay so this is just a dummy image this is not the actual product image so when i select this image i'll get the option here video url so if you have video on the youtube or on the vimeo you can paste the link of the video in this field so I'm going to paste the link of one of the videos not related to this product, 
just an example. So here I'm going to paste the link. I'm going to add the link of one of the YouTube video and I'm going to add this to gallery. Okay, so you will see the image here in the gallery that's updated. And refresh the page. Here you will see the image with the YouTube icon there. So if I click on it, you will see the image and if I click on play, it will play the video. So if you want to add another image or if you want to add more videos, you can add more videos. Let's try another video. I'm going to add the image to the gallery and I'm going to add one of the product image. And I'm going to link the image with the video. So let's use this one. When I select the image, I'll see the field here. I'm going to paste the link of the YouTube video. If you have Vimeo, you can use a Vimeo video URL. If you have the video hosted on your own website, then you can paste the link of your video here. You want to add to gallery, update it. And let me refresh it. So this is the second video. So we have added two videos here. So if I click on it, I'm able to play the video. So this is how you can add the video gallery to the product. If you want to show the YouTube videos in the product gallery slider, then you can go for the pro version of this plugin. If you want to show only the images in the gallery slider, then you do not need the pro version. So this is how you can use the product gallery slider in WooCommerce website. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.